can you marry someone who is black? I don't mind. <laughs> it's hard to find a girlfriend in yes. China. Why? Uh, I don't know, maybe... Look at he switched seats. Can you see that person? He uh -huh. was there. He uh -huh. literally switched seats to come here. So I was like, ah. In case it's your first time here, hi, my name is Uche Oboekwe and I'm a Nigerian who currently lives in China. This video, mm, very interesting. So just sit down, relax, and enjoy. Can you marry someone who is black? I don't mind. You don't mind? Yeah, yes. This your is child, why I talk your, your child will, be, will not be as white as you. <laughs> I, 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 I don't mind. What about your parents? What will your parents say <laughs> when you come back with a black girl and say this is my wife? They might be very shocked. <laughs> okay, they'll be shocked. Which is expected? Will they accept this person? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? Alright. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because of like the distance of their country or because of their skin color? <laughs> mm, I just think it's uh, because of the skin color. One thing about living in China as a foreigner, you're guaranteed to have the most unexpected experiences. Because when I set out on this trip, I had no idea I would meet this Chinese guy who knew Nigeria and knew a whole lot about Africa as a whole. I can't lie guys, I was pleasantly surprised. He said that I want to tell you guys is he doesn't want to have kids. Yes, I think this is most young people in China. So he's saying that most young people in China these days do not want children. Uh, but you can have a girlfriend or a wife and you guys decide not to have kids. What about that? Um, it's an option. Uh, I, I could have said that. But it's hard to find one. <laughs> it's hard to find a girlfriend in yes. China. Why? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the, as a male to female. The, the male... The, Male population is like about two, uh, 20 million. 20 million? Larger than the female population. Oh, 20 million larger than the female population in China. So it's hard for the men to find women, like Chinese women. Yes. So you can look at foreign uh, women. I mean, you are popular in China. I'm popular. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Yeah, but you can definitely try other countries. Like if you don't find a Chinese woman, you can find you know women from other countries europe america uh, or even it's much difficult <laughs> why i don't know maybe they want the rich guy <laughs> maybe they want the rich guy yes well, this, this is the truth right? <laughs> so you have to work hard and make money mm -hmm. and also i think there are people who don't care about how much yes, you have yes. but if you're a good person mm -hmm. You have a good character, you're kind to them, you're romantic, you take care of them, they'll love you. Yeah. This is true, but from the start, from the beginning, mm -hmm. he will think of the money. Mm. Why did you get a girlfriend when you were in university? Um, because university, you're all students, yes. but you don't <laughs> I have don't money. Know. I, I you don't are know. working hard and My studying. head is messed up. Very <laughs> bad. Your head was messed up back then. Yes. You are studying a lot. Yes. I studied a lot. Mm. So I don't know. Are you why. facing I pressure think, from? I think I think, think, I, think I was stupid. No finding. Oh. <laughs> so you're finding it difficult now to find a girlfriend. Mm. Yes. Experiencing pressure from your parents, like to get a girlfriend or to get married. Big pressure. Big pressure. Yeah. Wow. How are you handling the pressure? Mm, ignore them. He <laughs> says <laughs> <So> ignore them. <laughs> and you're the only child. Yes, I'm the one child. Wow. No brother, no sister. Yes, I'm, I think most most young people in my age is. Mm, most young people in your age are the same because of the one-child policy. Back yes, yes. Wow. I have six siblings. So I, couldn't seven. I couldn't imagine that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're seven from the same mother. Uh, so a big family. Are your siblings go to China? No, no, no. My siblings did not come to China. Just me. My siblings are back in Nigeria. Okay. One is in the UK uh -huh. and the others are in Nigeria. Yeah. I'm talking for about, let me check the time. Very you well. came to sit on my chair. He came to my chair about at two like hours. seven. Uh -huh. It's almost 9 a.m. And we have been talking, and I've, I've, I've been hearing him, like his English is so good. I had to ask him, where did you learn your English from? Um, 
I don't even know your name. Jeez, what's your name? <laughs> I don't know his uh, yes, name. I, this is wait, wait, wait. This is so funny. I don't know this person's name. He doesn't know my name. We've been talking for almost uh -huh. two hours. Uh -huh. He literally just came to my seat. I was lost in thought. Thinking about something, and someone just came beside me. I was even like, do I, do God, I, do, do I look weird when I sit in here? He didn't look weird, but in my mind, I was like, God, I beg. Like, I was like, Who is this person? And what does he want? <laughs> what does he want? Man? Yeah, I was like, What does he want? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> like, he literally, you guys, he switched seats. And you see that person, he was uh -huh. there. He uh -huh. literally switched seats to come here. So I was like, Ah, because in my mind, I was like, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I was like, I'm not in the mood. Just Please, but when he started talking and his English, he was able to communicate. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of replying, and he was asking really good questions, so that got my interest. Before I started recording, we had talked at length about different things. And one thing I asked him was, what is the common perception by the Chinese when it comes to Africans? And first of all, he told me that the Chinese media is fond of reporting about Nigeria and saying that they are just terrorists in the country. So I was like, no, no, no. Like, yes, bad things happen in Nigeria. Okay, I'll not lie. But that's not all there is to the country. So I tried my possible best to you know change that narrative show him pictures of like my parents and people like walking on the streets and you know it's not as bad as the media portrays he also told me that people in china think there's no water no food no this no that and i'm like brah it's 2024 i really hope that more nigerians and more africans in general make videos about the true beauty of nigeria the true beauty of Africa, the culture, the people, our hard work, our, you know, our beautiful personality, our just true beautiful stories and not the rubbish that the media is always pushing and shoving online. Living in China has made me understand the deep importance of media. And yeah, I hope that as the years go by, more Nigerian, more African YouTubers make videos telling the true African and true Nigerian story. I'm doing my own little part here in China, you know, trying to change the narrative that they have about Nigeria and black people and Africa as a whole. Okay, so how do you learn your English? Um, I think I'm just a regular, uh, educated young people in China. Is a lie. You're not just, a lot of educated young people can't speak English, so it's um, not... I mean, they could, but they're shy. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, so, so I started learning English like in the, in the elementary school. Elementary school. So from the third, uh, third grade. So, so it's about like nine years old. Nine years when you are nice, they learn English. Nine years old in elementary school, so this uh, is where I start. <laughs> but now, and it's about twenty years ago. Now in China, they those kids they start to learn English, like like in uh, kindergarten. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys, I'm asking him how he learned English because so you said you were looking for a translation job to, to translate English, right? To oh, translate oh. Chinese to English. Um, I think I'm capable of that job. I do I, think you're but, capable, but I couldn't find one because mm. in Chinese companies they they would prefer a English major. Oh, they would prefer your major is them. what? My major is electrical engineering. Wow. So I'm a so I'm an engineer. Oh, you're an engineer. Wow, yeah. nice one. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. You guys, I'll just stop filming. He's shy. He doesn't want to talk again. He has been talking I'm, since. I mean, again. that people. <laughs> While we enjoy this beautiful view that I captured by 5 a.m. in the morning, I want you guys to let me know what part of this video stood out most to you? What part did you resonate with the most? 
is it the pressure to get married by parents we all know that our parents want us to get married and have babies as soon as possible okay or is it the fact that my friend was saying that it's hard to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend in 2024 without having money okay or was it when he said he didn't want children hmm i'm not sure a lot of africans will agree with this one no let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah.